All right, folks, here we go again. The Amherst, they continue to win. I'm just going to go with it. Like, that's all I'm doing. I'm looking at it like this is just a privilege that I could still report on this team because I thought their season was done. And here we are, reporting that they're one win from the final four, guys. So let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at the clips, and then we'll go into the game clip. Here we go. Quick strikes help Amherst down Marley's in game two. And let's take a look at the header. Yep. The Marlies score seven times. My goodness. They just continue to score. Uh, let's look at the shots on goal. Toronto had the edge 9-8 in the first. And the edge 20-14 in the second. Nine apiece in the third. 38-31 for the game. Scoring. And Kulik is, yep, he scores again. From Yosem Prow, makes it 1 0 after 1 at the 9.57 mark. Then Ambrosi scores for Toronto, makes it 1 1. Then Davies from Malone and Pilot makes it 2 1. Look at this, folks. Look at that batch of goals coming up now. Between 4.28 and 7.13, they score four times. Four times in a little over two and a half minutes. So Davies from Malone and Pilot at 4.28. Then at 5.58, Rusik from Yost. Makes it uh, three to one, and then they make it four to one. Malone from uh, Chaconi and Warren makes uh, a four to one at what time is it? Seven oh one and twelve seconds later, Chaconi from Setterquist and Mersh. I, I mean, I I wish I could have seen this game. Really, I wish I could have seen it. Makes it five to one, and then Ellis for them makes it five to two to close out the period. Toronto scores again. Holmberg at 5.03 to third. 5.3, to three, that's as close as they would get. Mersch makes it 6-3 to three for Malone and Rosen at 7.12. And then at 16.15, Warren from Murray and Yost makes it 7-3. to three. And then Steves makes it 7-4. Uh, to four. And yes, let's look at the right-hand column because I wasn't calling it out. There's so many goals. First goal was on the power play. All four of those goals in the second even strength, all four. That's a very good sign. And then um, if you look over uh, in the third, Mersch was on the power play at 7-12. Empty netter at 16-15 in the last vein attempt for Toronto to come back. And then Toronto scored themselves on the power play in the game as well. Three goals, if you look. So three of Toronto's four goals. Or, sorry, no, I'm wrong about that. Guys, take a good look. Second period, Toronto power play. Toronto power play in the second. Toronto power play in the third. Toronto power play. Uh, I was thinking for some reason they had an empty, uh, pulled the empty net. No, I'm wrong here. All right, so they had four goals on the power play, Toronto. Toronto didn't score even strength. So we outscore them 4 nothing even strength. That's a very good sign. Yeah, I didn't even notice that until I read it right now. So, okay, good. Charlie, put your report. I know you've seen the game. Throw the report what we need to know, what... What, what, what are the intangibles that I don't see here in the clips and in the, uh, in the numbers? So let us know, because I know Charlie watches all these games. So Charlie, report any of you that were at the game or anything, please put a report down below and uh, let everybody know what exactly is going on, how the Amherst turned this around so, so quickly. I mean, I, I, I'm, what I see as a fan, Kulik. Once Kulik got back in the lineup, this is a different team. So <laughs> this is team's nuts. Right now with Kulik in it. So it's, it's kind of, he's like last year's uh, Paterka, kind of, right? All right, guys, here is the clip. Malcolm Subban gets the call yet again for Rochester. Malcolm Subban in his seventh straight start of these playoffs. He's been sharp for this Rochester Americans team. Made 23 saves in the last game. Marley still managed three goals past him. Eric Schalgren at the other end of the ice. He's in his fourth straight start after coming back from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Got two in the Utica series. First two here. He's looking for a win in this series. Yobbs brings it back in. Cuts back to the middle. Dropped up. Up top. Scores. Kulik on the power play.
Here comes again. Back over for Mac Hollowell. Tipped over for Abrazizi. Late shoots. Malone as the penalty expires. On goal! Scores! Davies gets it by. It's going to be an even strength goal. Hoffemeyer had just stepped back onto the ice, but the Amherst go up 2 1. Dahlstrom with a little misplay and a two on one back the other way. Rosak drops it back. Yobs Rosak scores! Hollowell looks in, shoots, side of the goal. That one will not find a way past Malcolm Subban. And now back the other way. Here's Warren, officially in the lineup, as he sends it across Sice. Ciccone out front, scores. 4-1 with Malone, the goal. Comes up the wall. As Keith Petruzzelli. Ciccone, long shot, scores. 5-1. Wow. It has fallen apart here for the Toronto Marlies in this second period. Back up. Niamella with the shot. Powder off the back. Hit that. Scores. Ellis gets one back for Toronto. Out front it comes, shot, over, tip, scores! Another power play goal from the Marlies. And they draw within two of the Rochester Americans, 5-0-3 into the third period. Pontus Holmberg. Pilot looks to the goal, out front it comes, waiting, side of the goal, scores! Mike Mersch. Gets on the board to make it 6-3. To the goal. It goes wide as Hollowell pokes it down into the corner. Pops loose and played ahead for Murray. And along for Warren, he comes after it and buries it. 7-3. Play goal for the Marlies, three on the afternoon. The Rochester Americans have got to be pretty happy with the fact that they came in here to Toronto and picked up two victories. Yeah, you got to start your playoff series on the road. Usually kind of a good, good case scenario for you would be to split. So the fact that they've come in here and taken two, they're going to be very happy with that. So there you have it, guys. The Amerks are one win away. And uh, these are fun videos to report on, guys. I gotta say, I enjoy reporting wins to you folks, I do. So the Amherst are uh, on the verge of the upset in this series and uh, we'll see if they can close it out at home. Uh, hopefully they get it done and we have a deep run to talk about and um, you know, we'll just leave it there. One game at a time folks, I don't even want to get ahead of myself with this. No, we'll just leave it there, we'll see what happens next game. See you in the next one guys.